Greetings from Newport Beach, I'm Farlan Chang, and welcome to Must See in OCTV. Get ready for some of the most inspirational success stories and the visionaries who fuel their success. These leaders help explain why many cities in OC are ranked among the best places in America to live, work, play, and study. We're proud to partner with the Business Alliance of Orange County, and we're thrilled to celebrate the merchants who help make OC one of America's best places to be. Get ready, must see an OC TV starts now. I can't stop loving you. I've made up my mind. Orange County, world famous home to Disneyland pristine beaches, and golden sunsets. OC is also ranked as one of America's top places for dining, shopping, and playing. But where can you find Orange County's best neighborhood shopping center? According to the OC Register, it's the Enderly Center, home to 23 shops, plus five restaurants, and a coffee house. It's described as OC's best kept secret by locals here in the city of Tustin, who are proud their city is ranked by Forbes as one of America's top 25 towns for living well. Today, after more than 30 years, the Enderley Center still embraces the ambiance of small town shopping without the hustle and bustle of the new mega malls. But we sense a presence here, and other people do too. They feel something special here. And we certainly aren't, they don't have to buy anything, just come here and enjoy it, sit in the benches around and enjoy what there is here. And it's just neat. Thank you, Mr. Enderly, I love you. Locals credit the owner, native son Al Enderly, whose family once grew orange groves nearby. Dear friend, love dearly. You don't have to. Al treats merchants like extended family and his customers like personal guests. Indeed, this is one of the very few privately owned shopping centers on the West Coast. The Enderleys are proud their annual holiday open house has become a must-see tradition inspired by their own guiding light. While we dedicate the center to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and on behalf of myself and my family, and um, we meant it. You know, it wasn't just something, it wasn't a publicity stunt or something. I mean, you know, it's just, it, that's where our hearts were. And ever since that time, we've sensed the presence here, whether it's the Holy Spirit or angels or whatever it is, who knows. At the heart of the center stands a clock tower, inspired by the one in New York City as the place for people to meet and celebrate. They can choose from five upscale culinary restaurants, 11 specialty shops, five fashion stores, and 10 service-related shops. The Enderley Center is also a haven for car lovers. They meet every month for classic and custom car shows. Thank you, Tom. Another beautiful car. What year is that? Al says he's really just a steward of this property for the real owner, his boss upstairs. I own nothing. He owns it all. He owns the center. He owns me. He owns everything that I think I own. So you can't worry about something you don't own. Did I ever give you one of these stories? Everywhere Al goes, you'll find him sharing his story of how he found the Lord. Al says he lived a life of fame and fortune as a rancher, adventurer, and developer. There permanence to it? None. And usually you end up a slave to it or very lonely. Because I remember when I lost my first fortune, why all my friends disappeared. It was gone. So after seeming to have it all, Al says he failed at business and at marriage. That is, until he married his fourth wife, Jerry. She introduced him to the joy of Jesus. They lived happily for 15 years when Jerry died of cancer. But Jerry had prayed that Al would find a loving Christian woman to care for him, and he found her. Now, for more than 25 years, Gloria has been at Al's side, through thick and thin from being poor and humble to later recovering his wealth. But they know that just like the game of Monopoly, it all goes back in the box. Keep that in mind, you don't take anything with you. It all goes back in the box. And sometimes it goes back in the bo box before you go in the box. And Al Enderley clearly loves to help people, donating time and money to many causes. 
He also loves coaching young students to define success, not by fame and fortune, but by what is eternally lasting. So when you do things that glorify the Lord, you become successful forever. And that's the bottom line. Thank you, Al Enderly, for creating not just one of OC's best kept secrets, but for sharing your own secret for success.